Triple H is the best thing that could have happened to WWE. Night 2 of WrestleMania was one of the craziest nights of WrestleMania I've ever seen. Seth Rollins vs. Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship started the show. I actually enjoyed this match. Thought it was a great way to kick off Night 2. I thought Seth was going to retain at one point, but eventually Drew would hit a Claymore and would be crowned the new World Heavyweight Champion. Then Drew goes up to CM Punk. Punk attacks Drew and then shows that he is fine. And when you think it is all over, the Judgment Day music hits. Priest comes running out and cashes in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Then hits his finish on Drew and would get the win to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. This was absolutely nuts. I did not expect to see Priest cash in on Drew. Then we seen Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits take on the Final Testament in a Philadelphia street fight. And a surprise to everyone, Bubba Ray Dudley as the special guest referee. I thought this match was pretty good. A lot of weapons was used. Even had a point where Bubba was about to get involved. Eventually, Bobby and the Street Profits would pick up the victory. Then we got LA Knight taking on AJ Styles. AJ Styles came to the ring with a new theme song. I liked his old one. I have to listen to the new one again to know if I like it or not. Anyway, this match was pretty good in my opinion. AJ Styles would go for a phenomenal forearm. LA would reverse and would hit his finish on Styles and would get the win. Then we got to the triple threat match for the United States Championship between Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. This match was great. Had some funny moments like Speed showing up and getting RKO'd onto the announcer's table. But in the end, somehow Logan would sneak his way and retain the United States Championship. Then we got Bayley vs. EO Sky for the Women's Championship. This match was okay to me. Bayley would eventually hit this move and would get the win to become the new Women's Champion. Glad to see Bayley take the championship here. Then we had the main event, what we all been waiting a year plus for. Cody Rhodes vs. Roman Reigns for the WWE Undisputed Championship in a Bloodline Rules match. This match was the best match of the show to me, personally. Just all the crazy shit that happened. Cody almost had Roman beat, but Jimmy interferes and starts beating up Cody. Then Jay comes out, starts beating up Jimmy, and then spears him off the stage onto some tables. Then Cody almost has it won again, but Solo comes out and attacks Cody. But then John Cena's music hits. He comes out and takes out Solo. But then the Rock music hits. He comes out and we get the Rock and Cena face to face at WrestleMania in 2024. And then the Rock hits a rock bottom on Cena. And then the lights go out. They come back on and the Undertaker is standing right behind the Rock. He turns around and gets choke slammed. Then the lights go out again and Undertaker is gone. Eventually Cody would hit three crossroads and would finish the story and would become the new WWE Undisputed Champion. So glad that Cody got the win here. This has to be one of the best WrestleManias I've seen in a while. Night 1 was alright, but Night 2 was way better.